Good morning. It's currently 5.30. Woke up at 5 and we are riding from Arizona to South Dakota over the next few days. So this is what's happening. My mom has two motorcycles here in Arizona and obviously one person cannot ride two bikes back. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Horseshoe Bend and Page. To see the truth. This wind is ridiculous. 
to be in the great outdoors forever free you and me meant to be in the great outdoors forever from my gloves. I'm covered in leather fuzzies. I have an alfalfa sprout for my helmet. It's, yeah. So, um, I'm ready to go to bed. And it's seven o'clock. Yeah. But it's really pretty here in the mountains, Colorado. It's one of my mom's favorite places to stay. She turned the key off on the bike. I'm not sure if this is extra or genius. We brought a massager. It's trying to feel human again. Took a shower. We need dinner. The gusts of wind today for basically the entire drive was not that fun. But looking forward to going through Colorado and just having a chill day. So it started out as just a cross country trip to get two motorcycles from Arizona to South Dakota has now turned into selling one of the bikes in Wyoming. So, little detour. Point is, because of COVID, we had to stay two nights in this, um, one of my mom's favorite places here in Colorado, and he had to pay for two nights. So, we're fine with that. We can pop around uh, the Colorado area down here by Cortez and hang out, but part of that is dinner in the room. So, I have packages of tuna and this cheddar popcorn and I'm gonna try them together because this is dinner. It's not that weird. White dry popcorn. And not bad. It is what it is. It's dinner. <laughs> this popcorn is really good. I may have stopped eating the tuna. Also just because I love popcorn. <laughs>
come tell us where we are. <laughs> where are we? <laughs> We're right here on the trail. She's a wonderful tour guide, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Around. Ah, Mesa Verde. Haven't been here since I don't know when. It's actually snowing. Are we ready for this? I don't think it'll stick. I don't know. Earlier it was already down in the 30s. It was raining earlier. Oh. Not happy. <laughs>
160 miles from our destination tonight. Went over Douglas Pass, which is pretty cool. I, mean, I don't think I've ever, I don't know if I've ever done that, and I've never done it on the bike. Hit over a thousand miles, and right now we're in Rangeley, Colorado. Um, we're just laying on the grass trying to recoup because our butts are really feeling it. My shoulder is really feeling it because I don't have cruise control, unlike her. So, anyways. what real bikers look like when they get off. None of this whole like hot biker chick thing like doesn't exist. Especially if you wear a helmet like I do because I'm never interested in having a concussion again.
we have made it back safely. Everything went great. We got home Thursday around noon and basically waited a few hours, recovered a little bit, and then we both hopped on the old Harley and went into Rapid City and delivered it to the guy, which actually was kind of an interesting deal. The manager at the Harley dealership, his brother was in Rapid and needed his motorcycle brought out, so it was like perfect timing. So that's what happened there, the bike switch. So we delivered it to him, he was more than happy. Uh, it took the weekend for us to recover. I'm by no means anxious to hop back on the motorcycle, but it was a great experience and I'm glad that I did it. So if you made it this far, to the end, you're the real champ. Thanks for watching. <laughs>